Mount Masaraga is one of the mountains forming the Magallon Trio in the province of Albay. It was the second day of January 2021 when me and my friends decided to explore the vanishing poles of Mount Masaraga. The weather was rainy and was a perfect time to see the vanishing falls. As we drove through Sabluyan Road, fog covered the way. After a short cold drive, we finally reached the jump off site, which was at Barangay Ampik in Legao City. We drove through steep paved road before reaching the Paayayayan Sabulun. Before proceeding to the campsite, I decided to explore for a little while. After that, we went on our way. We walked downhill through gravel paths. And along our way, we passed through the Sari Sari store. As well as crossed through this intermittent stream. We walked up to the spade stairs before finally reaching the campsite of Mount Kusaraga. It was raining when we reached the campsite and had high hopes that we would be able to see the vanishing falls. While waiting for Kuya Rams who will guide our way through the falls, we decided to have a quick chat. <laughs> Meanwhile, this little leaf insect showed itself to us. After a little while, Guyaram showed up and we went on our way to the falls. On our way, he told us that the falls had little water as of the moment and that we missed our chance yesterday when the falls was pouring hard. Despite that, we continued to hike, excited to see the falls. Along the way, we had to navigate through fallen trees caused by recent typhoons that hit Bicol. Blood-sucking leeches were also abundant along the way, and we had to check from time to time. We took rest from time to time, as the path was continuous uphill. The view, however, along the way was truly magnificent. And in some areas, we had to pass through ravines caused by landslides. After crossing through this wooden bridge in a 30-minute hike, we finally reached the vanishing falls of Mount Masaraga.
And though the falls had little water that time, we were still awed by its The picturesque rock formation surrounding the falls was also something to behold. After taking some photos and some rest, we then head back down. And along the way, we saw the small falls. Mount Mayon can also be seen from a distance, hiding from the couch. New Year, I know. Cheers. When we reached the campsite, we took our lunch. After having a quick rest, we explored the campsite of Mount Masaraga. These A-frame Nipa huts are offered for rent for an overnight stay, amounting around 500 pesos each. And I think three to four persons can sleep comfortably in this Nipa house. They also have two public toilets available for use. And they also have a dirty kitchen where visitors can cook. They also have this interesting boat shaped Nipa hut, which could fit 15 people at a cost of 700 baht. They also have this large nipa hut which costs around 1,000 pesos and has its own kitchen and bath. The view was amazing from the campsite and before heading down, we decided to have a quick drink while talking about our experiences in Mount Masaraga. Thank you for joining our adventure. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Jake in the Wilderness.